somehow my songs always apply to my real life right now. I'll be predicting the future. I think I'm good at this shit. Friends, we're gonna do um, a pick a card tonight, and tonight's pick a card is gonna be oh, it's it's a relationship pick a card, and it's what do you need to be more flexible about, and how can you be more flexible? Okay, I know that's a um long title, but it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna use uh one of these uh Kipper for um what you need to be more flexible about, and then we'll do three playing cards for um how can you be more flexible now some of these actually have um quotes underneath of them and some of them don't so if yours comes up with a quote uh most likely the quote will have something to do with this situation okay um i'll tell you what i'll do i would at least pull the what do you need to be more what do you need to be flexible about? We'll pull that in and that's how y'all will pick. Group ones. Group two. Group three. And group four. Okay? So, one, two, three, or four. Alright? Let me make your decision. And we're going to start off with group one. Put these like this so they're in order. All right, now let me pull three cards quickly for how can you be more flexible about this thing. Two. All right, all right. Okay, so what do you need to be more flexible about? Okay, so we have great happiness, all right? Um, I, I want to say that, let me fix my lighting, guys, sorry. I want to say that I feel like this car coming up as what you need to be more flexible about is about your ideal happiness, okay? I think maybe you have it in your head like you want this perfect ending, you know, happily ever after. You know, when you have beautiful kids, you, you're beautiful, you live in a beautiful place, and, and the weather's always perfect, and and y'all are always perfect and you're just always happy and abundant, okay? And I don't think that's realistic for most people, okay? And I think that's what that card is trying to tell you. Now, how can you be more flexible? So we have the seven of hearts, yeah. The four of hearts, and this is exactly what we're saying. And the ten of wands, okay? Um, the seven of hearts has to do with um, fantasy or... Uh, illusions um confusion you know and uh the four of cups has to do with um uh, okay so most times what we focus on the four of cups is how the person is not accepting what's being offered and we can't look at it like that in here too but what i really want to point to is the fact that in the four of cups the guy is really just staring off into space he's kind of in his own world he doesn't really realize what's going on i feel like um well and then the ten of wands is when you're hitting the end of a, a cycle and it's like um it's a big burden it was a heavy burden but you carried it okay and you're almost through carrying that burden okay um i think what this is saying is is you've been going through a rough time in the relationship right but i think you need to be realistic in the fact that there are burdens okay and and there will be times um when you're unhappy and you feel like this isn't what you want okay you're mentally escaping to other places right and maybe you are because you have this ideal that you set that is just way too high. It's like your expectations are way, way, way too high. Okay? And and it's it's you're not grounded. You're you're not uh being realistic, okay? So what the cards are saying is you need to be a little more realistic about, you know, what your end game is, what you're looking for. Uh, you know, what will make you happy or your idea of happiness because you're really just making yourself unhappy, okay? 
So I hope you enjoyed that reading, Group 1. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. All right? Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad, and let's move into Group 2, okay? Uh, let me do a quick shuffle. And we'll pull three cards to see how can Group 2 be more flexible. How can it be more flexible? We already have what you need to be flexible about. How can you be more flexible? All right, y'all. Now, what do you need to be more flexible about? We have the false person. Okay. Maybe some. Maybe the person that you're with told a lie. Or maybe they're sneaking. Uh, I kind of feel like they told a lie. And the reason why is there's another card that would make me say that they were cheating or something like that. Okay, but this card to me is more actually like somebody really stabbing you in the back. I think they did something that really made you feel betrayed. Okay, either that or you found out that they're lying about something. Um, I think the cards is just saying if you're not ready to move on from the person right which sometimes we are it's like the fourth time i've delivered this message this week okay if you're not ready to move on from the person okay even if they betrayed you okay you have to learn to treat them like you still want them okay because if you treat them like you don't want them they're going to feel like you don't want them and they're going to take it as if like you don't want them and they're going to do other things. If you still want them, it's okay to treat them as if you want them. What the card is saying is you have to learn how to be flexible in those types of situations. Now, if you can't, I would suggest you get rid of them. Okay, I would suggest you get rid of them. Uh, but a lot of you, you don't really want to get rid of the person. And you just acting like you don't want them because your ego is hurt. Your pride is hurt. You feel embarrassed or whatever else. But if you really want to hold on to them. And you treat them like you don't want to hold on to them. And they leave. You're going to be even more hurt in the end. Not only are, is your ego going to be crushed. Not only are you going to be embarrassed. Then you're going to be without the person too. Okay. And this is your life. You have to do what makes you happy. Not what everyone else thinks should make you happy. Or what makes them happy. Okay? So let's see. How can you be more flexible in this situation? <laughs> this is a good one. Okay. The first card is the Eight of Swords. Okay? Um, I really want to look at what I have written under there first. I want you to see this. It says, I make a long story short. <sighs> you running it in your head, running it in your head, running it in your head. What happened to you? What they did to you over and over and over and over. You're just dragging it out, okay? The cards are saying, just cut that shit short, okay? You stay with them. You want to stay with them. Cut that out. You're just making yourself more sick. The Eight of Swords is the card that shows someone that is trapped, okay? Within the swords. The swords are circled around them. But they're not really trapped, though, right? Dig. They could get up at any moment they want to and walk away from this torch, okay? Whatever it is that's making them feel so unhappy happy and trapped okay you're not trapped this is where you want to be okay and if it's not like i said leave this card is saying the same thing that i just said to you either you stand and, and you walk away from the whole victim mentality or you leave so that you can walk away from the whole victim mentality okay and stop dragging the shit out you know what i'm saying make a long story short but the second card says hang in there and it's the ace of cups and what it's saying is is there is a lot of love in this situation if you hang in there, you could find yourself more happier than you were to begin with. Okay, because the last card is the Four of Cups. And uh, it's upside down. I don't do reverses, but we're, we're going to do it in this one only because of 
uh, the way I would see it as a first of four cups is, is definitely someone that's not making a decision. And I feel like the card is saying, make a decision, make the damn decision either. Uh, and either way, hang in there is going to be the same too. either walk away and hang in there. Something better is coming. That's going to make you happy or stay there and act like you want to be there and hang in there and something better is coming. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed that reading group too. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below. Good and or bad. And let's move into group three. Mm, I turned that over, so I might as well turn it over, okay? Sorry, guys. I did not mean to turn that over. Alright. How can group three be more flexible? How can it be more flexible? <laughs> Okay, last couple. How can they be more flexible? Okay, guys, I'm gonna tell you. Um the short illness card um is used for a lot of things, but I honestly look at it like uh, a lot of readers do. It's a sex card. Um and and as you can see, she's a lady, she's on the couch, she got four cats around it's like she ain't got no man she's not getting any action you're in a relationship and what it's saying is is you not getting any action and most likely if it's saying you need to be more flexible about it most likely it's because you're not giving it up okay you need to be a little more flexible because whether you realize it or not that is an important part of a relationship and i hear a lot of people say like it isn't but I'm here to tell you, you, you that's watching this, if you not giving it to your partner when they want it, somebody else is. Straight up, somebody else is. Okay? And, um, you know, we always want our partner to... Uh, you know, make sacrifices for us and to be flexible for us. And sometimes we find ourselves not wanting to be flexible for them too. Or maybe we feel like we are about so many other things, but not this thing too. I'm just being for real with you. And so are the cards, okay? If you not giving it up to your partner, okay? Because this is important. It will be different if you say you can't. And if you can't, you need to find a way to do something, okay? Because if you not, I promise you, if your partner's asking for it and you're not giving it to them, somebody else is. All right, let's see how can you be more flexible. So we have two of swords. We have the Bambi, a great love sword. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Wands. Okay. So see, this is this is your man, okay? He's the king of pentacles, okay? He's a family man. He pays the bills. He takes care of the family. whoop dee woo 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 right? This is a decision. And this is looking out for new opportunities. And instead of this really telling you how to be more flexible, it's telling you that you're being inflexible and here's your man being flexible. He done made a decision to look out in the world and figure out where else can he find what he needs or she needs, okay? They are totally looking out. They are like just, hmm, hmm. What great love story can I get into? Because I'm not in a love story over here. But I'm still here. You know, I'm still going to take care of my family. I love my family, Okay. And, you know, whether you realize it or not, that's the beginning of a breakdown of a family. All right. And, you know, it's unfortunate when that happens. Uh, if it can be stopped. Now, if you don't want to be giving it up to your partner because you're just not feeling your partner like that. Uh, you know, why don't you talk to your partner about that? Um I don't know. I, I mean, people have so many different arrangements in this day and age. Maybe y'all could come up with an arrangement. Or maybe it's time to let the person go, you know, so that you can be happy and carry on the way you want to carry on. And they can be happy and carry on the way they want to carry on. 
I don't know. All I know is, is you know, they saying um, in order for you to be more flexible in the situation, you need to really know what's going on. That's it. You just needed to know what's going on. So now you know. You figure out what you want to do. You figure which way you're bending, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this reading group number three. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And let's get into group number four. And I'm going to do a quick shuffle. And I got the cards together. And we'll get right into your reading, okay? All right, let's get it in. So what do you need to be more flexible about in a relationship? So we have the good lady. Now the good lady is, um, she's like social and popular, successful, well-dressed, um, you know, well-mannered, uh, you know, she has good standing, okay? And people admire her. She's always looking good and, you know, she keeps, um, good face you know she looks good in the public eye period okay so what the cards are saying to me is is um maybe maybe you don't like going out with your partner as much as your partner likes to go out or maybe you don't fit the part i hate to say that because i know people are going to be like oh don't tell people to fit into standards but it's not me. It's the cards, okay? So, let's just blame it on the cards, okay? Um, listen. Let's put it this way. If you married a sailor, okay? And you're not a sailor, okay? No, you don't got to get on the boat and leave for six, nine months, sometimes 12 or 18 months. You don't have to go, but you are subjected to your partner's lifestyle, okay? And there are certain things that you can and cannot do, and you will be feeling the pain of your partner having to go off to work, okay? Um, in regular relationships, it's the same way. Sometimes your partner uh, has a lifestyle uh, that requires them to be out and about um, that makes them want to show you off or... You got to get dressed up sometimes and go to things with them that maybe you don't want to go to. Okay. And that's what the cards are saying. Like sometimes you just got to do it. There's a dog in the picture. So it has everything to do with standing by someone faithfully. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. You don't want to go. Yeah, sure. You don't want to get dressed up. Yeah, sure. You don't want to be a show pony. And yeah, sure. This isn't your crew or crowd. And you just don't want to do it. But sometimes you're going to have to do it. And that's why it's saying that's what you need to be more flexible about. Okay. Now, how can you be more flexible? So we have the four of swords. We have the nine of swords. And we have the five of pentacles. Okay. And I'm going to tell you this message is really cute the way it's coming together. It's like fall back on all that uh crying and moaning and acting like it's a, a um nightmare, okay? Cuz we got the rest card, we got the nightmare card. Like stop that. Like let that shit rest cuz it's a blessing in disguise. Like you don't even realize it that you going out and do doing these things is going to bring some sort of blessing to you okay and i think it also shows that in the five of pentacles someone is actually out in the cold but there there's someone there with them okay and um I, and i just feel like if you just go okay you're going to be so surprised at how much it's going to mean to your partner okay they're going to know that you don't want to be there with them you're only there because they're they have to be there okay and and it's going to um make them feel like, yeah, they made a sacrifice to be with me. That's what's up. And it's going to bring some sort of blessing with it, all right? 
So, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Group 4. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below. Good and or bad. And this is going to conclude tonight's pick a card. Uh, you know, it's Friday. It's uh, Venus's day. And, um, you know, I always try to do some sort of love reading on Friday. Um, you know, because I feel like the topic of love is easier to tap into when it's Venus. Well, Venus's day. Okay. Uh, so, uh, when you finish watching this video uh take a moment say a little ho hello to uh venus and shout me out okay because i honestly believe that energy repays you when you uh big it up you know it's like uh when you help other people to tune into a certain energy i feel like um yeah, I feel like it sends the energy back to you as if, like, good looking out, okay? So, after you read, watch this, if you liked it, just, you know, hey, Venus, big up, my lady, Melody, Melody, you know, because she told me uh, today's your day, okay? So, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. I think I'm good at that shit. Yeah. It's just a beat pusher for uh. Every day I keep it real and get that bag, ho, cause that shit up for grabs, ho. Put that